Hey everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I got another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial, and today we're going to be learning how to set up a green screen. I'm going to show you my green screen setup, how I use it, and the best way to key, and explain the lighting and things like that. So if that's something you don't want to learn how to do, no worries, I got plenty of other tutorials on my channel, you can go check those out if you want. So let's get started on this tutorial. Green screening. It's really easy, it's really fun, and it's actually affordable nowadays. First thing you're going to want to get is a giant green screen itself. And the one I bought is on Amazon. It was only 15 bucks. The type of material you want to get is muslin. Muslin absorbs light and doesn't reflect it at all or very minimal. That's the type of fabric just about everybody recommends. So that's the one I got. Now you can either get it on a little stand or you can pin it up on the wall like I did. I used little pins and stuck it up and pulled it extremely tight. So there's very little wrinkles because you want it to be as smooth as possible and not cast any wrinkle shadows. I have mine covering my couch in here because I like having a couch in my office. So when I record my green screen, there will be a little bit of wrinkles, but I can key those out and you will never notice them. So that's step one, the actual green screen itself. Step two is lighting. Now lighting is pretty tricky because lighting is going to be what allows you to make a good key or not. But for the basics of it, what you want to do is fill the green screen full of light evenly. I'll show you what I have right here. I have two of these guys. They're standing lights with reflective umbrellas. I tried my best to simulate a box light and I don't have them all the way out because I don't need the light bleeding over in this area. So I have two big lights that are gonna shine all the way in the corners right here. They're gonna shine all this area and evenly light it up. But when it does that, there's gonna create some dark spots down here. So that's where I have these two floodlights. These two guys are aiming and they fix up all the dark spots over here. And then I have my key light. This is what's aiming right at me when I'm recording or when I move this chair. That light is aiming right at me when I'm standing in this area. And I just added this guy and this is my backlight. This aims at me from the back so it can make my body stand out from the green screen and reduce spill. It's also a more reddish color than the normal white lights I have because red is on the opposite side of the spectrum is green. So that's going to help me make a nice clean key. The bulbs I use are daylight white bulbs. Daylight white, daylight white, daylight, and daylight. And this one's a standard warm luminescent light. The daylight provides the nice even white light that allows you to make better video effects if you wanted to make it look like it was more of a hot or cold scene or something like that. That's better to do when you have white lights shining on you because you can add color to white and make it look a lot better rather than having a bunch of warm color lights and then you're going to have to work extra hard to make it not look warm. So daylight white lights is what I got and they're all aiming evenly around my green screen. I have my key light way above here and it's aiming kind of down at me so it's giving my body some shadows. Shadows make it easier for removing the green and keying and having less spillover. So my key light aiming downward at me and this light at my back makes keying much better. Now my office isn't that big. Normally you're supposed to stand five to eight feet in front of the green screen but I can't do that in my small office. So I'm making do with what I got. This is basically a small office setup and how I got it going. The main thing I got to worry about is never crossing the path from this light to that light. As long as I stay on this side and not go beyond it, as you can see, it really brightens up my skin. It's going to make for a much easier key. Small room green screening is the hardest to do. If you have a bigger room, I recommend getting a big sheet, tacking it up on the wall, or buying some green matte paint that is non-reflective. They make it specifically for green screening, and then get your lights shined on here and it's perfectly fine. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Vegas tutorial and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the keying software. All right, so in here I have the intro clip I used for this video and I'm gonna show you what I do to key it. I'm gonna show you two different ways. First is the way with Vegas's built-in chroma keying software. And the second is using third-party chroma keying software. Now don't get me wrong, Vegas's keying software is pretty good, but it's not as good as some of the other stuff that's out there. So I'm gonna show you how to get the best key you can with Vegas first. So let's go to video effects, go down to chroma key. Once we do that, let's drag in the default. So you see it's gonna already try to choose a color. Let's actually disable it up here. And then we're gonna select the color, select the eyedrop, and then we're gonna select the color right next to your head or your body. So we're just gonna select right about here. looks pretty good. Come over here and let's check this box again. And you see it's gonna remove us, which is good. It's removing all the green. Shrink this a little bit for you. If you want, you can click show mask only. And the ultimate goal of this is to make this part 100% white and this part 100% black. 
and then you'll know you have a clean key. So what we do is drag in the threshold up a little bit. That looks pretty good. And let's drag this one down. That looks pretty good to me. So let's uncheck this. That doesn't look too bad. You will see a little bit of green in this area. Let's see what it looks like with another color instead of just black. So I'm going to insert a new video track. Let's put it behind this clip. Go to media generator and drag in a solid color. Let's, let's do orange. Now we got this, we can actually see this key a little bit better. This actually doesn't look too bad right off the bat. And again, this is going to vary for different people because I have a pretty decent lighting system, as I explained earlier. The more evenly lit your green screen is, the better your key is going to be. Now, one thing I want you to take note of right now is that for the most part, you want to shoot with the least amount of motion blur possible. So if you can shoot in 60 frames a second, I really recommend that. But if you got to shoot in 24 frames a second, mess with the shutter speed and the ISO rating and the exposure so you have the least amount of motion blur possible. So once we got that in there, the last thing you could do on this chroma key here is increase the blur amount a little bit. Now, if you do this, you have to do it just a hair because the more you have it, you'll see it kind of starts looking a little bit weird and you don't want to have any kind of shadowy effect. Now you don't have to do this, but this is of course a decent option if you don't have the best lighting or the best camera. I see a little bit of green in the outline of my hair, but that's just something you can't really fix in the regular keying software. So I'm just going to increase this to 0 0.01 and that blurs it out a little bit. So that doesn't look too bad right there. And that's about the best you can do with Vegas's chroma keying software. So I'm going to show you how to chroma key now using the new blue effects, which is the one I use, and show you the different features that a third party keying software has to offer. So I'm going to delete this effect, close that, go back to video effects, and do new blue V2 chroma key. I'm going to drag the reset to none on here so I can adjust it from scratch. Uncheck it. To go to the eyedropper and choose my color, do the same thing, something close to my head. So I'm going to do right about there. Then I could check back the box and we can start adjusting these different things. So first thing I like to do is increase the color range. This is basically telling you how much versions of green is gonna be keyed out. So right now, if we have it at zero, it's selecting the exact speck of green that I put right there. So we just increase that range a little bit. You don't wanna do it too much, but we increase it a good amount. You see it's doing most of the key, but not all of it. Next, we do sensitivity. Once we increase this, you're gonna see the rest of the key go away, perfect. Because the more color range you choose, if you're wearing any kind of clothing or something that resembles green at all, it's going to start feeding into there. So I like keeping my color range maybe around the 50 to 75 range. So I'm just going to do about 70 right here. And then we just increase this one. Right there looks pretty good. 50 is not bad. So we still see a little bit of color spill in my hair right here. You see just a little bit of green. That's something we can fix with the erase spill feature of this. So we increase this all the way to 100. You see it changes the color of my shirt, but it's also taking away the green around my head. Now Soften right here does the same thing as the Vegas Chroma King. Now I can if I wanted to put that at one, but I'm gonna leave that off for a second. And the next thing is shrink. Now something third party software does is it takes, let's just say we can't get rid of this green right here in my ear. We can actually shrink the source image that isn't cropped out a certain amount that takes away that we're not going to go this much i'm just showing you the extreme of it but so basically you can cut in a little bit of what's still bleeding over so shrink you can put that at one bring that in a little bit and soften we could even do that at one let's see what that looks like that doesn't look too bad i see just a hint of green right here but that's hardly noticeable when you start adding in pictures behind you and whatnot. But in a summed up version, that is how you chroma key green footage. I recommend looking into third party ones. Boris has a really good one. New Blue has a really good one. And of course, if you can't afford any of those, then Vegas's built in one works too. But this wraps up the tutorial on how to set up a green screen, the explanation of it and how to key on it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If that helped you out at all or if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.